Hi guys, so here I am to give you my review of The Happy Time Murders. So, The Happy Time Murders, to me it came across as uh, the Muppets forward slash CSI forward slash something around Sin City. So, um, so to me it would be interesting to go see it and uh, as it turned out I really enjoyed it actually. Now the critics of course has ravaged it, but you know what? Critics ravage everything. They're going to say they don't like everything because that's critics. But no, I really enjoyed it. Now, the story is about the detective and the Melissa McCarthy other detective character trying to solve the murders of the Happy Time cast who are each murdered by a mysterious assailant. So as you can see what I mean, it has the midsummer murder element. But it's, um, but no, it's very, it's along the way, uh, and along the way of trying to solve the case is also helping out the beautiful Muppet Sandra who so I never thought I'd see the day where, you could, where they'd make a sexy Muppet, but there you go. <laughs> but no, the plot now, the plot is sort of, um, it went very well. There were twists and turns and all about trying to solve the case and all. So no. So now as it turned out, I sort of predicted how it was going to end, who the killer was. I sort of cottoned on a bit and I thought, no, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm, but as it turned out, I was right. So. The ending was a little bit predictable in terms of who the killer was. Maybe that's just me. I sort of had a prediction. In fact, I worked out instantly who it was going to be. But still, a, it's still a, it was still made for good watching. Like, I thought it was a good film. Now, um, I don't normally watch Melissa McCarthy's films. Um, she's not really my kind of person to watch. Like, I thought she was loud and outspoken. And then, don't get me started on Ghostbusters. Oh, my God. This fucking movie was a disaster. So, yeah. So, um, well, actually, was she in Ghostbusters? Oh, she was, I think. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought she was really funny. Like, she says to the Muppet, No, you see this jacket? I killed your mother and made her, a, made her into a jacket. Like, <laughs> like, the banter between her and Detective Phil was just so funny. It was just so flippin' funny. Funny. And even the fuck... I'm going back to the FBI. What does that stand for? Fucking big idiot. <laughs> like... I don't normally watch these kind of movies because I think they're cheesy, but I laughed at this one. I, th I laughed a lot. I thought it was really funny. So, for once, so actually, for once, I thought one of these movies was funny. It's funny. It's funny. Another thing was, I thought the movie, it's well billed as an hour and a half, but I think it was only about an hour and 20 minutes or so, or an hour and 15 minutes. So, I thought maybe the story was a tiny bit, I thought they could have maybe stretched it out maybe to an hour and 40 minutes. So, now maybe that's just me. But overall, you know, I still enjoyed it. It was a good wee watch, and also, guys, um, I would definitely say if you want to watch a good film, go and watch the Muppet. Go and watch not the Muppets, no, it's not that. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching my review, and go check out the Happy Timers. Not just not just to critically analyze, but to go watch it for a laugh. You don't have to analyze everything. Watch a film for a laugh. So anyway, guys, um, stay cool.